Moi Ruto, and those who have been supporting the Hasra cause. The Hasra cause is uh, ensuring that the next government will look at uh, the economy from a different perspective. The bottom-up approach is what we are preaching, is what we are encouraging, is what we shall actually have at the end of this particular term or regime. We have, of course, uh, not looked after the economy for the Mwanainchi. Nyambakema, uh, businesses have uh, closed. We know that people who brought their merchandise from outside the country have been clamped down, have been actually forced to close, have been forced to sell, their things have been auctioned. Property and homes have been sold through auctions, public auctions. People have closed their shops because the economy has gone down, because COVID has hit the ground and that it is not leaving soon. And instead of us thinking of how we shall come up with a budget that is Mwanainchi friendly, that is Mamamboga friendly, that is ordinary Mwanainchi uh, specific, creating wealth where it bites most. You know, we therefore want to tell those who think that uh, they can uh, split our vote, the region's vote, will go to William Samoy Ruto for presidency. Those who want the running mate must be prepared, of course, for, 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 a, for, a, for a good fight from many of us who support the deputy president. It is not going to be easy that you think that uh, those who, people who have been supporting, I mean, there are people who, who, who have this entitlement that uh, the Mount Kenya is theirs. I think the region belongs to the ordinary Kenyans. The region has a right to make a decision without being directed by specific individuals sitting somewhere and planning overnight. We are telling our people to forget about those people who never talked about their problems, who never told the government no when they were throwing them from Gikomba, when they were causing fires, you know, fires that never were never fires, when they threw people in Kariombangi out and, uh, you know, brought bulldozers, when they did not talk about tea prices, when they did not talk about milk prices, when they failed to consider that the coffee farmer has shut down their, their businesses, that the coffee farmer requires a better price. And these people who are now talking about uh, presidency in Mount Kenya region, including my own governor in this region, must forget about that. We have one presidential candidate for Mount Kenya region, for this country, is Dr. William Samoy Ruto. And of course, you know, uh, there are people who are asking, what is it for them? We have had a president for 10 years from this region, and we are still suffering. People here are still suffering and having it very rough. Uh, we have had uh, Mwai Kibaki, who did definitely very well. And instead of moving from where he left us, we went back by throwing Kenyans into very dark shadows that they don't understand. Why would we, who voted for this government, be happy when we gave 8 million uh, votes to Uru Muigai Kenyatta? And now he tells us that his uh, weight, his vote, his support will be for NASA candidate. NASA will be our competitors. So Mount Kenya region prepare that we shall be competing with NASA. We are not joining NASA. We are not NASA. NASA are our, are our opponents. And I dare say that uh, we, we will be showing them dust. We will be showing them dust when the time comes. Those who want to work with William Samoy Ruto must stop sideshows, must stop game of, of, of musical chairs and come on board because the door is not closed. But going forward, we will not, we will not have time for those who have been insulting others, those people who have taken this government as their own, those people who have an entitlement to this government and to the next government. The dynasties must know that their time is up. This will be a government for Hatras, including the deputy president. And women will also be there. Women will be, will be there. We will not sit back because we have known that even the two-third Jeddah rule did not work, has not worked was never meant to work, and therefore we will be gunning up also to seek 
positions of power. And in fact, I see the running mate of Deputy President William Ruto being a woman in the next coming general elections. And why not? And we want to encourage more women to support the candidacy of William Samoy Ruto. We also want to ask the president to put money in the Big Four agenda. When he does that, we shall support and we are willing to, 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 to support. There are projects of uh, electricity connectivity that are stored, infrastructure in terms of roads in this particular region, and some constituencies for that matter are still stored, and therefore we want to encourage him to put that money there. Universal health cover uh, coverage, so that we are talking about uh, affordable uh, health care for every Kenyan. We haven't seen it happening. We want to say that we need money in every county, and county hospitals have, 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 have been suffering. And of course the governors did not uh, do a good job. But there is room, there is time. We need to put money there before the, the, this term is over so that we can, we can say that we left sufficient infrastructure to take care of health and, and affordable health care. And, and uh, so the big four so far cannot score highly. I think when you talked about the infrastructure, you talked about uh, accessing health care, as, as, core, as core, core agendas for the president, I think the score will be very poor. And, and the reason, if you ask me, is the hardship. The hardship has not delivered for the... The hardship has taken away for people of Mount Kenya region. And you know, it is not bad to develop the whole country, but you can't develop some parts of the country at the expense of other parts of the country, especially those parts that really supported you and came out strongly in your support. And the way you, you, you've done it, Your Excellency, it's obvious that, you know, there is a tendency to, to do very little in the regions that supported you. What has happened? What, what, what is going on, Your Excellency? We are still waiting for you to and we are expecting that this particular budget, you will be looking at the regions that also voted for you, including those other regions, because you have been preaching inclusivity, and it's a good, it's, it's a good principle. Apply it of, uh, above board so that every other Kenyan will feel that this government was about every one of us. For now, we have been thrown out of your government. The positions we had in Parliament were taken away. We haven't heard about better prices for tea. We have waited for prices for coffee. We have tried to work with you, with the regulations that have come to Parliament. People of Mount Kenya region have been very keen on coffee bill, on, 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 on tea bills, and even when it came time for us to vote, we supported those uh, registrations, and we will still support other registrations that are geared to improving the lives of the people of this region, and Kenyans as a whole. Uh, in this uh, time to talk to Kenyans, because they have been calling me and asking me several issues regarding the recent uh, statement by His Excellency the President, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Our president to date is the chairperson, the party leader, not the chairperson, the party leader of Jubilee Party. And we were all elected, majority of us, those who support His Excellency, the President, and his deputy, William Samuel Ruto, were elected on Jubilee Party. Two days ago, His Excellency, the President, said that he would be supporting a NASA candidate. That statement by his President, of course, hit the, deadline, the headlines of the newspapers and uh, other new cha news channels. The reason is, of course, it is a big statement coming from a party leader uh, in the name of His Excellency.